All right, welcome back to New Zero Land. I'm in an electric airplane today, and we're gonna go fly it. So an awesome thing happened in New Zealand last week. For the first time in history, an electric airplane flew from the South Island up to the North Island across the Cook Strait, and a bunch of us went to watch it land in Wellington. I just drove a Tesla to the airport to watch an electric airplane land. What a time to be alive. And then, a few days later, Meridian Energy, who was one of the sponsors, made a post on Facebook saying that they were offering one lucky person a ride in the plane. All you had to do was comment about how you're reducing your carbon footprint, and so I commented, and I won. We took the Tesla back to the airport, and I met up with the pilot, Andrew, who gave me all the specs. So the airplane has two batteries, one up front, one in the back, and the total capacity is 21 kilowatt hours. It has this really thin outrunner motor that makes 60 kilowatts, or around 80 horsepower. It's a tiny two-seater, but pretty comfortable once you're inside. The plane only weighs 370 kilos, because the whole thing's made out of carbon fiber. You know how much I love carbon fiber. So, when I turn it on, you just hear two clicks. That's the two batteries hooking up. Oh yeah, can't have this one on the front. Yep, and then power enable just lets the lever be used. Nothing happens, it just turns on, it's like an electric motorbike, right? So, yeah. all it is is I'll just turn it on. Oh wow. That's it. <laughs> yeah, so quiet. Oh, it's so lightweight here. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Unfortunately, as the speed ramped up, the wind noise made it too hard for the camera to pick up what we were talking about. But I made sure to ask all the typical questions everybody else does. Like, what kind of range does it get? How long does it take to charge? Well, to fly from Blenheim to Wellington used up about 60% of its range. Apparently you can go about 50 miles as the crow flies. It does have regen though, just like throttling off when you're going down a hill to add power back into your batteries. If you point the nose down, it will totally regen. Not a lot, like 1 kilowatt, but still really cool. To charge it, he uses an off-board DC charger with a Type 2 plug. And he was saying that a full charge only costs about 2 bucks. I feel like that's one of the huge benefits of going electric. It's cheaper to fly way easier to maintain. The pre-flight checks were over in like 10 seconds. Andrew is a flight instructor and that seems to be the main purpose for this plane. Imagine going to flight school and learning how to fly in an electric airplane. That's what's possible now. We also had a chat about potential future electric airplanes we might have, like slightly bigger ones for tourism where you could fit four or six people in it, all the way up to long haul 747s for international flights. It sounds like they might go ahead with the runway extension at Wellington Airport. So we're about to have a lot of bigger, louder planes flying around here. So electric might solve the noise problem, whether it's hydrogen fuel cell setups with electric motors, or a hybrid setup so that the takeoff and landings are electric and then you switch on the jets for long range stuff. I don't know, but it's super exciting that all this stuff is starting to happen. The whole EV movement with planes seems to be a similar deal with cars and motorcycles, where it just takes one person to make the jump, to show what the tech is capable of, and then everybody else will want to join in too. The owner, Gary, already had an electric car, and as the story goes, he was on his way to the airport about to fly a traditional fossil fuel powered plane, and thought, I should be flying an electric plane. So he bought one. This plane is made by a company in Slovenia called Pipistrel Aircraft, and I really hope people import more of these. Riding in an electric airplane blew my mind. It was such an amazing experience. I never thought I'd get the opportunity to do something like this. So I want to say a huge thank you to Electric Air, Meridian Energy, and Gary and Andrew for making all this possible. I don't know how I'm going to top this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.